New at 6, Portland police may have improperly denied dozens of special visa requests for undocumented immigrants who were victims of crimes. That's according to a report made public this morning. Fox's Mia Villanueva is joining us in the studio with a look at this. Good morning. Kim, good morning. The report focuses on U visas, therefore undocumented immigrants who are victims of crimes like domestic violence, sexual assault, and human trafficking. Now, the visas are meant to strengthen law enforcement's ability to investigate those crimes and encourage victims to report them without fear of being deported. To be eligible, an applicant has to say they were a victim of that crime and that they already have or will cooperate with law enforcement. The city's the city auditor's report says the Portland Police Bureau was once a statewide leader in certified, certifying new visa applications, but its certification rate fell to nearly half the average approval rate of Oregon police agencies in 2021. Now that rate rebounded in the second half of last year. A 2022 complaint from a woman whose certification request was denied prompted the audit. Now, when she was 17 years old, she filed a police report after being physically assaulted by her older partner. According to the audit, the woman's aunt witnessed the assault and the woman went to a hospital where a doctor documented her injuries and noted the possibility of statutory rape. The woman also told police her partner threatened to post sexually explicit videos of her on the internet. She was denied a U visa, despite the fact that domestic violence, sexual assault, and sexual exploitation are all qualifying, qualifying crimes. Auditors say her denial was either an oversight or poor police work. Police later certified her application based on the auditor's recommendation. Now, auditors say they didn't find any evidence that the drop in certifications was because of directives from bureau leaders. They believe it was a result of insufficient, insufficient training and policies. Now, they're recommending the bureau review and take action on more than a, four dozen applications that they identified as potentially eligible for certification. In a letter responding to the audit, Police Chief Chuck Lavelle said, so far, the bureau has approved three previously denied application requests. He also says the Bureau has reached out to the attorneys handling all the flat cases to review and reconsider them. Kim and Shana, back to you.